Welcome to the Best Guy Podcast where we talk about personal development and self-improvement. Today we're going to focus on spiritual development because it's Easter Sunday guys so uh, the song in the background is one of my favorites it's called My Jesus, My Savior, My Refuge and Strength. Well that's part of the lyrics but the reason why I want to focus on that today is because it's Easter and I want to open up with the scripture call uh, or it's the most famous scripture in the whole Bible John 3 16 for God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son and whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and we're going to talk about the reasons why he gave his life because uh, on Friday was the day he was crucified and hung on a on the cross or on a stake well uh, the reason why he came down was because I don't know if you ever heard the term sin, if you haven't. It's basically when, uh, it means that you just missed the mark. So everyone was full of sin. That's me, you, everybody included. Whoever watches this and whoever is not watching this, every person on earth had sin in them. And if you go back to my Christmas podcast, it explains a lot that uh, it was through Satan uh, helping Adam and Eve sin. And ever since then, every person was full of sin thereafter, whoever was born. So we were automatically born with sin. And none of us could be perfect. None of us could do enough good things. I know there's a lot of good people in the world, but... When you are automatically born, you are full of sin, you have missed the mark. So no matter how many good things you do, you're still not perfect. You're still not going to make uh, heaven, if that's what you believe. But that's what it says in the Bible. But here's the thing. No matter how many good works you do, you can't work your way into heaven. And that's why Jesus was put here on the earth. To go through the same things that we went through. Loneliness and all the things that we battle. Uh, the wanting to be in a relationship or uh, just the, the hunger and everything that you go through. He had to go through. For the first 33 or 30 years of his life. Then the last three were basically to teach 12 men. Which you can call them apostles, disciples. But it was to build his ministry so that they could uh, teach us later on through the word of God. That we could be... Uh, on our way to what they were doing on our way to becoming closer to perfect I'm not going to say we'll ever be perfect but when you believe in the word of God a lot of people go to church a lot of people good people but some of them are still not going to make heaven their home no matter how good they are. Because they haven't accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. They haven't accepted Christ into their hearts. They say, I believe, I believe. But they still live a completely different life than the way they profess and for uh, what they believe. So, none of us are perfect. 
And in the Bible, that's why Jesus Christ died. There were a lot of perfect people, but they kept turning away from Christ. Even the disciples, they followed him. They followed every word he said. They went out and did what he said, but they kept turning away. But that's why Jesus Christ told them that he has to go to the cross. That he has to be crucified. And it's not by works that we enter the kingdom of heaven. It's believing. And when Jesus Christ was crucified, he even told God when he was looking up in the heavens and saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they've done. And that's what he says to us. And back in the day, to get rid of your sins, you had to constantly make sacrifices. You had to shed uh, animals' blood to get rid of your sin. But Jesus Christ died on the cross so that he could be the blood atonement or the blood sacrifice that it took for us to make heaven. Here's the simple thing. Whether you're any religion, whether you're a Christian or self-proclaimed Christian and you're doing everything by the Bible, but you have not repented of your sin, then you won't make heaven your home. Why? This brings humility. It humbles you when you know that you have to say, God, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, I'm not perfect, and I ask for your forgiveness. That's what praying a prayer of repentance means. And that's pretty much what praying a sinner's prayer, no matter what religion you are, whether you're a Catholic or any other Baptist. Here's the thing though, you can walk away from grace People, some religions will prove, uh, say that uh, once you're saved, you're saved forever. But you can walk away from grace. You can turn away from God. Because that's your choice. That's what you chose. God didn't let you go, but you walked away freely. So you pretty much wrestled your way out of His hands. I know people say... Uh, you're in his hands firmly, but you can wrestle away. Have you ever seen a kid pull away from his parents? Sometimes they pull so hard that the parents will accidentally let them go and they're trying to grip onto them so they don't, uh, their child will not get hurt. But then again, you, that child still wrestles away from their parents. But that's kind of like how we are with God. We wrestle away from him and we hurt ourselves and we walk away we turn away from his grace it's our choice not his we turned away so we can backslide whether you're a christian and you believe this this is truth i've done it i turned away from god for two years i'm not perfect and i'll never profess to be like some Christians think they are this week, but I turned away and I went to a lifestyle I shouldn't have womanized, drinking, partying and I'm not proud of that became selfish, full of hatred full of anger but 2011 I gave my life back to Christ and I had to repent again. I want to give you all a chance to repent, to turn to God and ask for His forgiveness at the end of this, whether you're alone, whether you're with someone else. I don't care as long as you do it. You don't have to be ashamed to do it because Jesus Christ died publicly so that we could repent.
publicly or privately, either way. He was beaten publicly. He, his beard was ripped from his face. A cast of crowns were put on his head. He was whipped. And he was crucified publicly. He was made fun of. He was mocked. They called him the king of the Jews. Uh, they did it with sarcasm, make, making fun of him. But he did it all for us. What I like about this time is that we all get the chance to repent. I wasn't going to come on and do this. Actually, I didn't have it planned, but something in my heart was stirred. I know a lot of people are not going to watch this one, but it's okay. It's for the one person that watches this, gives their life back to Christ. I am a Christian. Like I said, I gave my life to Christ 2011. It's not perfect. I don't have no perfect walk. No one has and no one ever will. But as long as you keep trying, getting up and keep on going. And that's what today represents. Friday was the day that the uh, apostles or disciples sat with Jesus Christ and broke bread and drank the wine. The bread represented his flesh and the wine represented his blood. He said, take of this uh, bread and remember and do it in the remembrance of me and he said drink this wine and do it in the remembrance of me because when you have his uh, when you take the sinner's prayer seriously you are taking a part of Jesus Christ and when you do that, you're going to take the blood is going to be what's washing you clean of your sin. And you're going to be a part of his flesh. So if you never heard that, why that was done, that is pretty much why he told the disciples to do that. And to this day, that goes to us. So if you say the sinner's prayer, ask for his forgiveness then you are saved but you don't just uh, get saved and go from there and never sin again you're gonna sin but you grow from there you read the Bible you go to church you become a believer so that you can make heaven and that's why I'm coming on. I usually say I won't preach, but today it's a different kind of uh, topic. And it's me pretty much preaching. Not preaching my own beliefs, but preaching the Bible. Because I want all, I want every human on earth to accept salvation. But salvation is a choice. We cannot accept it. We cannot repent. We can go on with our life as usual. But uh, we can always miss the mark. But here's the thing. Whether you accept it or not, we are all full of sin. How do I know that? There's the Ten Commandments. It says, do not hate because hate is considered murder in the Bible. Not my words, but in the Bible. If you were to look at a woman and lust after her, you have committed adultery. Or if you're a woman, if you look upon a, a man and lust, you have committed adultery in your heart. So 
those two things as human we have all been found guilty of so and it says honor your father and your mother as I once said in a podcast recent podcast if you have ever um, dishonored your parents and we all have then we all missed the mark see just these three there's ten of them but just these three are very things that are considered sin so guys if you want right now I rep I told you what uh, pretty much what Easter is it is Jesus being crucified then then three days later after his or on the third day of his resurrection from his resurrection on the third day he went to heaven in glory and that's what today represents him his resurrection because he did what he said he was going to die for us and he did he battled sin he was crucified and three on the third day he ascended so that's what Easter represents his giving life to us and it's at the perfect time when life is being given this spring perfect time don't you think God planned it perfectly but now we have a chance to get that life so if you have not ever repented of your sins you have never asked God for forgiveness in your heart or in your with your words you can do it right now whether you're a believer or not you maybe you backslid I once backslid and turned away from God or if you never accepted Jesus Christ in your heart and you would like to accept his love today all I ask is you say these words dear Heavenly Father please forgive me for I am a sinner in desperate need of a Savior Please come into my heart, change me, transform me, renew me to a new spiritual being that I could accept your love and your grace and that I could be written in the Lamb's book of life. In Jesus' name, I pray these things. Amen. If you accepted that and you meant it with your heart, then... Your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. From this day forth, I would suggest that you read the Bible. Go to a Bible-believing church. A good Bible-believing church. One of my favorites is Victory World Outreach. If you have one of those near you, then awesome. Because I, I, that's where I got saved in 2011. And... I still believe in that church. I love that church. Great people, great believers in Christ. So, guys, I hope you all have an awesome Easter. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you like this message and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share these videos. Everybody have an awesome Easter. Be the best guy there, the best guy, or the best guy here, the best guy there, the best guy anywhere. And may God bless you all. And may the grace that is in Jesus Christ be with you all.